Okay, I'm in the room. So that was uh, some power break core. Yeah. And uh, right, we're gonna make it. <clears throat> we're gonna make that. I'm gonna keep that uh, to one side as a reference in case I forget how I did it. So, okay. What is break core? Well, I don't really know anymore because it's sort of, I don't know if it's even really still that fashionable. Um, excuse me whilst I drink to ponder on that. Uh, so when I, um, when I was into break core, um, it was sort of all about, just piling in as many breaks as you can and doing really intricate, wacky, uh, eccentric stuff to them. And I know there's going to be people out there who are going to go, yeah, but like, you know, you've got to do it the proper way and, you know, you've got to do all the, the hardcore edits and you've got to do it in, in a tracker and, uh, you know, it's not real break or unless you've bled, unless you've felt the pain of going through the process of... Uh, of doing all those edits. Well, fuck those people. It's 2016, you know? And uh, I'm going to make a break core thing uh, that you can actually play and perform. And I used to do loads of this stuff in Ableton back in the day. And um, used to just basically lay out a load of clips, a bit like these ones here, into clip slots and then just set them all with a quantize that I wanted and then just trigger them from my keyboard. But now with the new uh, warping that's available in the new Simpler, you can put them all into drum racks, which means that we can do some really cool stuff with um, velocity layering and triggering random events and stuff using MIDI effects. And we're going to do that today. And I'm going to show you a, f a few cu cool, cu cool new little things that I've picked up along the way making some stuff. Um, yeah, okay, so we're going to need a drum rack. We're going to need two, actually, because we're going to be bouncing between two drum racks. So I'm just going to create, I'm going to rather duplicate these two. I'll give this one a different color. Let's go for sort of lilac and yellow. Okay. Um, and also another thing that you need to do is you need to, I'm not actually going to do it because I've done it. So you need to create an instance of Simpler and you need to set it to classic. And then you want to save that in the defaults folder, dropping samples on a drum rack. I've saved that there. So that means that whenever we drop a sample into a drum rack, it'll default to classic. By default, default, it defaults to one shot. 
but our default default will default to classic because um, we're going to be taking advantage of some of these start and stop features. Okay, so I'm going to go into this drum rack here, which is going to be my sort of working drum rack, and then this drum rack is going to be the final one. So I've got loads of loops here. We're also working at 210 BPM because it's break. <laughs> Did I put a limiter on my master track? No, sorry, every time, every time. Cool. Okay, so I'm gonna drag all of those into, well, actually, I'm gonna go into this drum. Can you see, hang on a sec, let's just make everything a little bit bigger. There we go. Nice, big, 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 okay. So we're going to go in here and we're going to click this tab, which is the sort of device chain tab. And I'm going to get all those and I'm going to drag them into there. And then it stacks them all up. Nice. I'm then going to, with them all selected, give them all a choke of one. Cool. And uh, that's pretty much it for that bit. They're all set to classic, which is nice. Okay, I'm just going to turn the release up on this one and copy all the value to siblings. Whoa, stop, 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 stop. Shut your face. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy those. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm going to copy them. I'm going to go copy. And then I'm going to go into my yellow drum rack and I'm going to go to C1 here and I'm going to go... Hang on a minute, no. I'm going to go in here. I, here I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go paste. Okay, so you can't see, but on my push... I've got those. I've got those all laid out. And I've got the push layout so that I'm in 64 mode. And so what I'm going to do, maybe I should have turned the camera on. Hang on, I'll just turn the camera on right now. I got a stand for my iPhone. So, okay, so you can see that I've got them here on this group. And I'm just basically going to put different treatments of those same loops into the four corners. Um, so in order to do that... I'm going to treat all those samples, well, I'm going to slightly treat some of them in a separate rack and then copy them over because I want to do, I want to give the same treatment to siblings. But if I do that in one drum rack, it'll do it on all of them. So, and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to go back into this drum rack. I'm going to delete all of these and I'm going to go up to, I want to go to this one here because that's where I'm going to copy a load of snares, put the snares. I'm basically going to offset all the loops to just the snare. Okay, so I'm going to do that by putting these all back in here, plop them on there, and it's very... Ah, see, what it's done there is that it's put them here, and I don't want that, because when I copy them into the other drum rack, it's going to copy them into the same place. This is not what I want. So, what do I do here? Delete them all. And then I want to... I wanna put them here. I want to put them here. How do I do that? Well, that one will go there. Ah, okay, yeah, I know what to do. Yeah, yeah, duh. Okay, right. So, that's it. We'll do it that way. There we go. Cool. Now, this is the fun part. <laughs> I'm going to go to the first one, and I'm going to set the start position to 25%. This is going to work because all the bars, all the loops rather are one bar long so when I copy them copy the value to the siblings they're all going to start on the snare some of the loops are just stupid but generally they're on the snares cool now I'm gonna get all of those I'm gonna copy them copy I'm gonna go into my other drum rack my other one here I'm gonna go here and then I'm gonna go ah uh, Okay, I need to go in here, and then I'm going to go paste. 
there we go and it pastes them into the same cells as the other ones so when i bank down here i've got oh no wait i need to choke them first did i choke them i didn't choke them okay we're going to choke them now we're going to go into this io thing here we're going to select them all and we're going to choke them to group one Cool, so what I've got is two instances of the same lot of loops, but I've got the kicks here and the snares here. Cool. That's nice. So uh, I'm going to... Um I'm going to jump in here, I'm going to set this release to one second, that ought to... Oh no, that's not enough at all, let's go to... 60 seconds is taking the piss, let's go to 10, 11 seconds. Okay, now we need uh, my special quantizing rack thing. Cool. Cool. All right. Now uh, I'm going to go, whoops, I'm going to go back to the working drum rack. I'm going to delete all of those. And uh, I'm then going to, so I want to be on this one now. Okay, let's go to this one here. Now I'm going to copy all of these loops so that they start on E2, I think. Do I want E2? Yeah, E2. All right, so I'm going to select them all. I'm going to choke them. And uh, I'm just going to go in here. Cool. And uh, I'm going to give them a release of 11 seconds again. Well, I can do that to all of them. Later. Okay, and now with this one, I'm going to create like a kind of choppy chop chop. And the way that I'm going to do that is to use an LFO. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this LFO on, then go copy value to siblings. Then I'm going to change the LFO type to square like that. Right click, copy value to siblings. And uh, set this to whatever that is, musical note values, copy value to siblings. Oh, and then, and then we've got to turn the volume up because we want the LFO to go on the volume. Right click, copy value to siblings. Cool, that's lovely. Now we're gonna go in here, we're gonna cop we're gonna go copy, 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 yeah, we're gonna go back here, and then we're gonna go here like that. No, that didn't work last time, didn't it? We would have to do it here. So we'll go paste. Cool. Now so we've got kicks here, snares here, choppy ones here. stuff now what we need now is some really sort of disturbing and slightly wacky uh, crazy granular sound design stuff now I'm not going to go through it all I'm just gonna pinch the ones that I used earlier and just sort of ex uh, explain <laughs> So basically what these are, let's have a look, shall we? This is some stuff I like to do in simpler, uh, sorry, in sampler, where I like to drop in loads of sounds and then uh, velocity map them so that if I hit them a certain way, uh, I get a certain sound. And then, what did I do? What did I do? Oh yeah, okay, all right. Um, actually, yeah, maybe I will, maybe I will actually make it. I will make it. I won't just reverse engineer that one. 
Okay, so we'll go back into our new one. We're making. And uh, I'm going to drop a sampler onto this pad here. Let's go up here. Okay, let's put you on there. Bank back down here. Where are we? Okay, so. Okay, now I'm going to just go into... Oh, whoops, that's the wrong one. Okay. Am I on the right one? Oh, what have I done? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to drop in all these samples these loops here, I'm going to drop them in. In you go, in there. Cool. Now it's kind of playing them all at once right now. Uh, because they're all mapped. So I'm going to map them to velocity. I'm going to go to the velocity tab. I'm just going to go distribute ranges equally. Now, if I hit them hard or soft, I get different different loops. That scared the shit out of me. Right. Maybe I'll solo this. Solo this. That's that's nice. Yeah. Okay. Right. So I've got that soloed. Now, I want to do like some crazy quasi granular synthesis stuff. I want to sort of hone in on funny loop points and move around them and make whiz bangs and zip zaps and all that stuff. Um, now, we can obviously. Whoops. Now, we can of course set them all to. Oh, ball bags. Why did I do that? Redo just... Re okay. So we can set them all to go to forward loop. But then they're all going to have maximum start and stop. The, the, the start and end loop end positions are all going to be maxed out. Now, there's quite a lot of samples on there. I don't really want to go through them all one by one and choose a loop point. But that's okay. We don't need to do that. There's a little, little trick. We can go into the orgs... The modulation tab and then go to the orgs envelope and I'm just going to put these all to uh, two. These are all going to be two, two and two and this stuff I don't think matters. Okay now we can't apply a crossfade so they're all going to sound super super glitchy which is kind of apt I think and then we'll just assign that orgs envelope to loop length. Loop length. Okay, what do we have? Okay, so they're all looping. Ah, oh, they're all looping. Okay, that's cool. So, but we want to do a little bit more than that. I want to uh, maybe have a, a new loop length on every hit. So I'm going to go to LFO2. I'm going to go to the sample and hold. LFO, I'm going to put the frequency all the way down. And I'm going to assign that to um, loop length. Okay, that's a little bit too far. So I'm just going to set it to two, I think. Let's set it to, let's just try three. See what three. Yeah, that's not enough. Let's try two. There we go. Let's actually try 1.5, 1.5. I like these floating values you can give in samplers. Very That's cool. All right, so now let's... Um, God, we could go even further than that. Let's just put it to 1, see what 1 sounds like. Mm. Let's try 2 again. Okay, that's fine. No, that'll, that'll do. Okay, now I'm going to go to LFO3 and I'm going to set this to ramp up. And I'm going to set this to the sample offset and the loop start. So, is that what I want to do? Yeah. So now every time that I strike the key... Um, no, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Sorry, I'm wrong. No, I want, I want to turn that off. I want this LFO to go to sample start, sample offset. Okay. So now every time I hit the, the key, I'm going to get a new loop length. I'm going to get a new start position in the sample, or rather a random one. And then I'm going to use this LFO to scroll 
the uh, the loop through the sample to get a bit of time stretching, maybe. Let's just turn the release up. There we go. There it is. Sex. Pure sex. That 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 is sex with sound right there. Okay, so if I unsolo this, then I can go back to Wait a minute, I forgot to choke it. It's got to choke to group one. They're all being choked to group one. That is what we like. Okay, let's come back. Yeah, so I mean, and then you would just sort of keep going. Um, actually, you can do some of this stuff you can do from push I was literally just sort of duplicating that and then going in and but let's just go back to the one I the first one I made and so these are all just different treatments they're all basically different treatments of the same idea of uh, just dragging in loads of uh, samples and using that method I was talking about of uh, where are we? Yeah, so just, um... Yeah, I'm really into sort of stacking as many events onto one pad as I can and just getting loads of variety. <laughs> There you go. What have we learnt, or is it really even about learning? Um, so yeah, basically, I, I, I don't know. I don't even know what I've just done. That. So yeah, if you're into this kind of thing and you'd like to maybe get your hands on this, um, I'll happily share it with all my patrons on Patreon. Jump over there and find a tier that you're up for. And, uh, you know, I'll big you up. And um, every every time I do a video like this, I'll collect all and save and put it up there and you can get it. And uh, loads of other cool stuff. So, happy Easter. And, uh, great, yeah.